Hello, and welcome to the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. In this week's episode, I've got an addendum on the tariffs placed on China by the U.S. Next, I wanted to bring you some fascinating news from the Asia-Pacific region, specifically Malaysia, whose green e-commerce strategy is getting a lot of positive attention. My last story highlights the global and noble mission of Crane Worldwide Logistics Community Assistant Program called Crane Cares. And as always, stick around to the end for today's totally true transportation trivia tidbit. This one's going to have you rolling. Now, let's get to the news. Well, you may remember a couple of episodes back when I brought you some news about the trade tariffs against China by the Biden administration. Last week, the U.S. Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security published a final rule revising the Section 232 exclusions process impacting both steel and aluminum imports into the United States. Well, how does this affect you, you might be wondering? Well, keep in mind that these import revisions will go into effect on July 1st of this year. Another thing to keep in mind is that should analysis of these general approved exclusions, or GAEs, change in the future, the Bureau of Industry and Security may reissue these GAEs in in whole or in part, depending on the specific rules. And I'll bring these to you if and when they happen. My last point on this is that we want our U.S. importers to be aware of this situation and prepare for all these challenges as soon as possible. There's entirely too much to squeeze into this episode, but we have it all for you at craneww.com on our Knowledge Center page. Here, you can learn more about this and many other events impacting the industry today. In my next story, I wanted to share with you something that caught my eye in Malaysia. Now, if you're not aware, Malaysia is a growing e-commerce and green energy hub, and already new partnerships between these two electrified industries are making exciting waves. Last week, a clean energy company from Kuala Lumpur partnered with Lazada, a local e-commerce company. Together, they've developed a logistic solution that I just found interesting involving the use of e-bikes for last-mile delivery. This plan comes on the heels of the partner company leasing electric vehicles out, which commercial fleets can take advantage of. The Minister of Malaysia's Trade and Industry said, quote, This alliance not only sets a benchmark for industries converging and collaborating to accelerate decarbonization efforts, but also catalyzes significant innovations in last-mile delivery solutions. In addition to having direct access to local ocean and airports, our Johu Baru station works in close partnership with our other stations in Indonesia, Kuala Lumpur, Penang, and Luban offices, meaning our synergistic force throughout this area is considerable. Go to craneww.com now, and on our locations page, you'll find contact information for every station. Contact them today and see for yourself how our people, service, and tech set us apart from all the rest. In my last story, I wanted to share that Crane Worldwide Logistics knows that it's important to be responsible corporate citizens. And to that end, many years back, we instituted a program throughout the company called Crane Cares, whose mission it is to strike out food insecurities. There's enough to feed everybody in the world, but for far too many, they don't know when their next meal is going to be. The sad fact is that nearly a billion people go hungry every day. But Crane cares, and we've made it our mission to strike out food insecurities in the areas where we operate. Crane Cares works to feed the local homeless, aid disadvantaged children, bring meals to the elderly in need, and even helping animals get the vital nutrition they require. Crane Cares accomplishes this through organized food drives, fundraisers, establishing community gardens, volunteering at food pantries, and much, much more. You can see all of our Crane Cares efforts over at craneww.com in our About Us page. Here you can see for yourself that Crane Cares and is striving to inspire our people and communities to make a meaningful difference throughout the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, my friends, but now it's time for today's Totally True Transportation Trivia Tidbit. Well, if you've been in logistics for a while, then a roll-on, roll-off ship isn't anything new to you. But there was a time when these so-called ro-ros first came onto the scene. Getting rolling cargo onto ships proved very tricky and often damaged both the ship and the autos being carried. In 1833, a train ferry was started in Scotland that took on rolling carts of coal, making this the first known roll-on and roll-off form of water conveyance in history. Today, everything from motorcycles to mobile homes and tanks to tractors are rolling onto and off of these now vital aspects of our shipping industry. That'll do it for this episode, my friends. Please consider clicking like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, until next time, my friends, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now. Goodbye now.